Hi hey guys, welcome down to the channel again. Sorry it's been a few weeks since I've uh, uploaded anything, but uh, the weather's not been too good. So today, as you can see from behind me, we're down at Martin. Um, we're just uh, going to have a quick nine holes to uh, try out the new clubs which I bought. Um, and yes, we've, uh, we've changed the whole bag. So out have gone all the Titleist irons and clubs and we've now changed to Ben Ross. And if you don't know who Ben Ross are, they're uh, an English company, a British company, who uh, supply clubs which are quality but at a reasonable price. And not something you probably know about, because probably most people would just go for Titleist, Callaway, uh, Ping, um, etc so yeah so we've got to sell some uh, Ben Ross items a couple of Ben Ross drivers and uh, a hybrid I'm still staying with the Titleist ball though because uh, I quite like the Titleist ball so we're going to play nine holes and what I'll do as we go around is I'm going to show you what's in the bag so you can see which irons I've bought we're staying with the Titleist ball and this one I don't know what this one is, just a yellow one. So, I'll show you what's in the bag as we go around, uh, and you can see what I bought. You never know. As um, certain other YouTubers, Rick Shields and Mark Crossfield, said, Are we being snobs by not buying Ben Ross? Both of them said that, which is a quite a coincidence. Maybe have the same script writer, who knows? Right, so uh, we're just going to wait for some guys to tee off and then uh, we'll tee off and we'll uh, we'll do a bit of uh, what's in the bag as we walk around the course and also give you some info of what's coming up on the channel as well. Alright guys, so we're just waiting still to off on the tee with the gentleman in front of me. So I thought, the first thing we'd do is we'd show you what we've got, as you can see. We now have our own hats, which I think looks quite good. You think, have a look. Oh, there we go. So yeah. So I thought, why not? Everybody else has hats. Let's have a hat. So I've got myself a couple of hats done, which look quite good. So, what we've gone out and bought is the Ben Ross HDXs. All right, they're a few years old, but what an excellent club. I think new, you can buy these for about £179, which is the five, um, five iron up to sandwich, which is next to nothing really. And I mean, I bought these off eBay, so you can get them out there. It's got the KBS shaft. Tour 90 um, and it's a club and it hits it and it's got and it's really re it reminds me of Ping and a Wilson head that makes sense um, but yeah so yes yeah, so we've gone for the HTX um, red I think these are called so we've got new ones that are out now you can buy them if you wanted to but uh, I would look into it, guys. You know, if you uh, if you're looking for a set of clubs, have a think about Ben Ross. Don't walk in somewhere and think, right, I want one of the top brands. Try them out. They may just feel right for you. Um, don't really see a lot of these secondhand in the shops. I've never seen any in American golf. Um, I'm obviously not really looked on eBay until recently. But yeah. So uh, I don't think when you're trying to look at a set of clubs and you want new ones, or even you want to start off for less than 200 quid, you can get a good set there as well. Right, so we're going to go tee off now. The fog's lifting. Um, and it's very quite busy here at Martin again, which is good for them. Um, a new simulator building's being built. We're going to come down in a couple of months 
uh, I think January. I'm going to come down then and uh, have a quick look at that. The simulation that's built. And the new clubhouse which is behind me, which is being built as well. Which is forward thinking for a good club. Let's just hope other clubs take note and uh, move with the times. Right, so we're going to tee off. We'll do nine holes and I'll take you with me. Hey right, guys. Got a bit of a smaller tripod with me today. It's a bit easier to fit in the bag. So, let's see how this first swing goes. First hole, 148 yards, par three. It says 150 to the pin on the cheetah meter. Hit the flag! First hole, par. You can see what's in the bag here, the new stuff, or the old stuff in some cases. We've gone for a Ben Ross V6 Escape. You can see that. Turn it around that way. Now this is, I think it's 17 degree, which I think um, replaces your three, three iron. Hey guys, so we, we kept the same putter, so we've still got the ping putter. I quite like that, so I'm not getting rid of that. So, the driver. What are going for? The HDX as well. I should have really taken it out before I did this, but never mind. So it's the HTX compressor. And it's set at 12 degree. Um, I've only hit this a few times. Uh, I'll get one chance today, because it's uh, only part one, part four. But it's a lovely looking club. You know, you could say golf porn if you wanted to. Um, it's extremely lovely. And this was, uh, this is about, this is going to be, this is about two years old. This was the last one I bought from uh, American Golf Online, which was quite good, got it for a good price. Um, but I think even the full price drivers are quite cheap compared to others. It's just worth a look. So uh, that's my recommendation, guys. You know, if you, you're looking to change your clubs, even if you want to go from something different now, um, if you want to go for something different, what you've got. Have a look at Ben Ross. You know, don't don't go to the old scenario of what people say. You buy cheap, you buy again. Because you're not going to do that with Ben Ross. I can tell you that now. It's not like going to um, a charity shop and buying a T-shirt for two ninety nine that's going to last you two minutes. Or Primark. I was saying that some stuff from Primark will last you a while. Um, but yeah. Give a good look, have a look around, see what they like, different prices, uh, lots of fitting places. I'll put a link to the website underneath. Um, well, the sun's coming out now. So yeah, so we're going to carry on playing and then we'll tell you about um, some other sorts that's coming up on the channel. Hi right, guys. Ooh, steamed up. Getting a bit warm now. Uh, so what else we're coming up on the channel, just so we keep you... Uh, up to date, uh, we've got a trip to Portugal in January, three days, going with uh, Golf Vlogs UK, should be good three days that, so we will take the camera with us. Also, we've, uh, we're in partnership with a new clothing company, not the same ones as my hat, uh, Golf CT Clothing they're called, uh, it's a new company that's starting up, uh, stuff should be out in early next year I think it's going out. And it's, uh, it's more funky stuff that you can wear on the golf course, or even out and about. Uh, so we'll put a link to them in the, site, the website, so you can see some of um, oh, get that completely wrong. Start again. <laughs> I'll put a link down below to their website, so you can see what stuff they've got, and uh, the ideas that they've got. Uh, which, you know, to me, I mean, I don't like wearing 
your, your golf clothing that's out now because it's got you know Nike or um, Foot Joy all over it, things like that. I don't like wearing it, but this stuff is different and it's quite funky. Um, so it's worth it's worth a look. Reasonably priced, what I can gather, and it's gonna be in all different fits from slim fit to normal fit for you know people that don't like slim clothing. There's certain uh, brands out there which are very tight fitting. So that's worth worth looking at as well. So just click on the link down below. Hopefully we'll have some uh, some off them in a couple of weeks, and we can show you what what they're wearing. I like my beautiful trendy hat up there. Which we've also got a nice bobble hat as well when it's really cold. I almost forgot. Um, the other week, last week, I think it was two weeks ago, I went to Blackpool with a few other guys off YouTube. Uh, golf nuts, tattoo golfer was there. G Mac Golf, as he's now called. Um, Sean Hargreaves was there. He's on Twitter if you know him. And also Barry Edwards, aka Rory's driver, who's not played for a while. So I filmed his first shot on the tee, which I'm going to put up now. So if you know Barry and the nice colourful trousers he wears. Here comes his first shot on the tee at Blackpool from last week. So just while I'm down here at Martin, um, I mean I played yesterday at my own course and it was like a what have I got now? It was like playing water polo. I still can't see. It's just steaming, steaming up, steaming up windows. It was like playing water polo. It was just that much water on the ground. But here, the fog's gone. There is no standing water and the greens are in superb condition. So if you're ever passing through Cheshire and you want a nine holer, um, okay it's not your average nine hole golf course. It's both for your short game or if you're learning. Pop in, tell them I sent you. Not that you'll get anything, but tell them I sent you. Um, come and say hello to the guys um, and they will look after you. It's a nice little challenging nine hole course this, couldn't recommend it any better, uh, they've got a golf simulator being built at the minute and a new clubhouse, so yes yeah, it's worth worth popping into if you uh, if you live this way, if you don't it's worth going now just the nine holes, um, so it is testing in places, you know if you don't fancy going onto your 18 hole course come down here and uh, give it a shot, but besides that that's about it really, nothing else, nothing else coming up on the channel. Uh, we are going to do a couple more reviews of clubs, um, golf clubs this time, where we go and play, see what they're like. Obviously with it being winter it's going to come very very hard to do that because of the weather. So we'll see what happens, you never know, anything could happen, we could pop up, doing something. But at the moment guys, that's about it. I'm going to go and finish my round of golf. On a Sunday morning, the fog's cleared. Hope you have a good week. Uh, thumbs up. Thumbs up, there you go. Um, subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, don't bother. Comment down below anything you know, you'd like me to try and do. Any clubs you'd like me to get reviewed, I can do them. Uh, go see my friends at Hartford. Paul down there, and I'm sure he could uh, sort me out on something we could have a look at. So yeah, so uh, that's about it really. So we've updated the bag. We've gone from Titleist to Ben Ross, and uh, yeah, and we're good. We're in partnership with the clothing company, and I've got a new hat, which is quite good. Don't know about white though; it might be a bit dirty, but I think white looks good. So, uh, hi guys, that's it. Catch you all later. Cheers.